Hello and welcome to Start the Beat with Sykes. My name is Sykes and this is my podcast. Before we get started, I just wanted to take a quick moment to thank everyone who checked out the last episode. If you're one of those people, I hope you enjoyed the conversation and thanks so much for coming back. But for everyone out there who's new to the show, welcome. Feel free to make yourselves at home. And as always, there's beer, soda, water, coffee in the fridge. Cheers to everyone out there on the internet. There is this uh, unfortunate sort of like underbelly of deviant behavior in these yeah. cultures, right? And like, <laughs> what is that? And why do you think that it is such a thing? Why do you think that the, like, I guess there's, you know, deviant behavior in every culture. Yeah. But for some reason with, you know, like punk, I'm a big like heavy metal and hip hop guy. So yeah. there's a whole lot of ding dongs where, <laughs> where I'm coming from too. Yeah. And like, you know, trying to navigate that as somebody that still like loves this kind of music, but is finding themselves detached from a lot of the social aspects yeah. that come with that music. Yeah. What has that journey been like for you? It's tough, you know, because, um, you know, punk and like extreme kind of scenes like that, any kind of niche kind of scene, like people who don't have a place to be like a, come to that, you know, and they form their own little, little world. But it, it, you know, all kinds of different people come in there and people who are at different points in their kind of life and their career and maybe their recovery from whatever it is, you know? Yeah. You got people who have all been through some some bad stuff, you know, because you don't get involved with that kind of a community and get that close knit to it if you haven't been through some stuff where you have a, a reason to. Sure. You know? And everybody's at a different point with that. And some people have kind of come out the other side of it and they are at a good point in their lives. I won't say good point in their lives, but you've got people who have come out the other side of it and you've got people who are just entering it just at the very beginning. And I think it can be really difficult. Um, so, it, yeah, you meet all kinds of interesting people and the social aspect is tough. It's always tough. Meet new people, you know, getting along with people. It's never easy. Mm -hmm. I think <laughs> that, you know, that's always the, the other thing that, at least it was a struggle for me and yeah. I don't think that it's unique by any means, but, you know, I was an artist as a kid, so obviously introverted as most artists are. Yeah. But then, like, you want to be a part of this community. So mm -hmm. it's like a community of introverts that are, you know, it could be awkward around awkward. each other. Yeah. But then, you know, you, like, trying to navigate, like, I don't know. I always had, like, really hard issues with, like, trust and opening up to people. And, like, oh, no doubt. Finding, like, the right people to trust in this realm where, like, even yeah. though you feel like you should be comfortable around these people, it's like, I'm not always comfortable around yeah. those people. It's yeah. like... Exactly. It's like no, that's like I mean that's when I was like fourteen, and now I'm a lot older than fourteen, and it's like this hasn't <laughs> gone away. Yeah, it doesn't go away. And then, you know, I've had like experiences where same kind of thing where I'm I'm young and I don't really know how to trust people, and you kind of, you know, I kind of pushed myself into that before I was maybe ready to, and ended up trusting the wrong kind of people, you mm. know, getting involved with things I shouldn't got involved with, and um. You know, it, it's what happens when you have all these introverted people who are going through stuff and they're trying to go through it together, but you can't always do it by yourself. It's not easy. You sure. Know? It's not just something you can just get through. Yeah. And you know, I imagine, it's I imagine it's probably harder to coming from like a, a small town environment. Like you mentioned, you, yeah. you did, because I mean, I grew up in the city. So I never lived in a tiny town with like no neighbors. You know, I grew up yeah. in the city and apartment buildings, city schools. Used to, I'm like, I was always so used to being around so many people mm -hmm. that it was easy for me to just kind of not exist and be in my own little bubble. Yeah. Whereas I don't know what that's like in a small town if like everybody knows each other. Is it like it easy? Is. is it easy to be like, to like kind of like be in your own bubble or is there always somebody that's kind of like, there's, up your ass about something. There's because, always somebody. Yeah. I mean, literally, wherever you go, you know pretty much everybody there. Yeah. You know? Because um, we were near, there was a university nearby. So there was always new people coming in and out. But at the same time, if you grew up there, you grew up there, you know? And <laughs> literally, anywhere you went, you'd run into 10 people you know. Yeah. So you couldn't just disappear into the crowd. And that's something I really like about living here, is that I can disappear in the crowd. I can just go a little bit outside my normal neighborhood, sit down at a cafe, I don't know these people. I'll mm -hmm. never see them ever again. Yeah. It's kind of amazing. You know, it's not something I've got to experience when I was younger. Yeah. I think that that's sometimes, you know, back in a, 
in a in a time when I used to like go out of town more often, um, I used to like to go up to New York. I have family that live in Manhattan, mm -hmm. and it used to be like honestly really relaxing for me to go up there, yeah. and people would be like, "How is that?" Because <laughs> like I'm like because I just get left alone. Like yeah. you're in this sea of chaos, but nobody gives a crap who you are. Yeah, if you can find the right way to just kind of navigate in the shadows of the chaos, I like find comfort in that. That might not be a good thing. I don't know. It makes me happy though. So whatever. <laughs> I know exactly right? what you mean. I feel the exact same way. Yeah. What was it like moving from you know the small town into a city? Had you spent a lot of time in the city before you had moved? I don't know if like the first city you moved to was Pittsburgh or not. It was actually okay, yeah. but I did not spend a lot of time here. It was I was touring a bit, going to a few different places. Of all the, uh, we didn't do huge tours. I think the farthest we went was like Virginia, went up to Boston once, like not terribly far. But the best city that I had been to was Pittsburgh. I just liked Pittsburgh, and there was just um, bad stuff in my hometown. I had to, I wanted to get out, and we just kind of packed up and moved, you know, without a lot of preparation. Sure. And we had like two friends in Pittsburgh. Most places we toured, we knew like one person, but here we knew two people. Okay. <laughs> so we're like, let's go to Pittsburgh. And, um, yeah, it, it was in the long term, it was an amazing idea. And I'm so glad we did because I really like being here, but, um, it was a completely new experience. Yeah. I mean, I just had an, ex and it's not like Pittsburgh is a massive city or something, but it was still such an adjustment. Sure. I, I can't imagine, you know, yeah. I think that a lot of people that haven't spent a lot of time outside of Pittsburgh, but are from here, I think they take it for granted. Yeah, because like it is a small city, but I've been to a lot of places, and I don't think it's just my like romanticizing or nostalgic nature for the city. There's a lot of really cool stuff here, and I think there it's is. like a, um, you know, every city has its issues. We can like, well, yeah. cut, you can get into the red tape if you want to like really focus on negative things for sure. Yeah. But I still think that like just being like an art kid, if you are resourceful here, I think that. It can be affordable and it can be a really fun place to live. I've yeah. really, I know a lot of great people that live here. I've built my mm -hmm. life here and yeah. I enjoy it. It's a nice place. Yeah. I never thought I would end up staying here for a long time, really. But I've, I've like really fallen in love with it here and I've traveled still and I still tour and I still go places. And I just, I always like Pittsburgh. I never get homesick for where I grew up too much. Yeah. Um, but I, I get homesick for here, you know, I really, really do like That's it here. Sweet. And it's not perfect. Yeah. You know. But I don't think... But it, it feels worth it to put the work in. Sure. In, in Pittsburgh and like make Pittsburgh what like it could be because I feel it, you know? Sure. I think that there are a lot of people here that do really give a shit about yeah. making the city a better place. Um, it's just like the the power structure is always going to be very uneven. Yeah. Um, so it's just something that, you know, people need to continue to, like to work 